What's up YouTube? Danny Hype here with a special deck profile by our KTM pro player, Shad. What's up guys? He um, came, uh, what is it, top 8? I, I, yeah, I played top 8. I played against you in top 8 and ended up losing. Um, but yeah, so I was playing uh, Broly U6. Um, I've been testing this deck with uh, Jordan Beard uh, for I think the past month. Um, and it's been one of the better decks that I've seen in this format. Um, it's a really good aggro deck and a control deck at the same time. Um, and yeah, like it just it, it, it does a lot of things, and you'll see in the deck profile. Um, so okay, we'll get started. Uh, the best battle card in the deck. We're playing for Khalifa, the Awakened Sister. So what she does is when you combo her. Um, you evolve on top of a Khalifa, a yellow Khalifa, and then after you evolve, you tap an energy or a battle card, and she's 20k double strike. Um, with the theme you'll see in the deck is a lot of the battle cards you're playing, uh, you, you'll never play for more than like one or two energy, and that helps you pressure really early on. Um, next, playing four Champa Vados, Gracious Aid. Uh, if you guys remember Mecha Frieza format and King Ape, uh, Great Ape King Vegeta, this is essentially the same thing, but you get to play for one energy, um, which is insane because you can get these, you can get this out so quick. Because in like the Mecha format, when the Great Ape King Vegeta came out, it's usually like turn three, turn four. Whereas something like this, you're dropping, you can drop like turn three as well, and you, you can do so much more because you're only playing with uh, one energy. Four of the Botamo super combos, uh, just an air to U6. Um, you get hit it off the one drop Khalifa, and it's just a four life uh, draw card. Um, this play four Kefla the Peak of Perfection. Um, this card's really good. Uh, you play for the blue yellow name, and it's also really good in mirrors because uh, in this deck it's, it's a lust for two turns on one of your opponent's battle cards, and it's a 20k body. So when you when you're playing something like the mirror, and they have uh, a Champa Vadas out, you can arrival this and rest it and negate its effects. And now your opponent can't combo with uh, with 10k's for free, and that's really big in the in the matchup. The draw engine in the deck and one of the best battle cards. Play four Goku Black Unforeseen Darkness. Um, this is ideally your your turn two play. Um, it is the best turn 2 play you can have because it's essentially a 1 drop, draw 2, pitch 1 um, and you'll always have an energy up. Uh, it's a 15k body so it's good to pressure with as well and it, it just fixes, it, it lets you find all the pieces you need to, to really go off turn 3 and turn 4. Play board, uh, 4 beers, the fickle, uh, fickle God. This is uh, usually just energy. Um, you use it so that it comes in as a, a, an untapped energy, as your second energy. And um, there's times it comes up where you might play this for two energy and just draw a card. And it's not bad because it's also a 15k body as well. Um, and it's also usually the, the combo energy that you use to arrive with your blue yellow cards. The, um, your evolve targets for the Khalifa. So this is a one drop, so it just can't be KO'd. Look at the top five. Um, add, uh, add a U6. Um, it, it's just really good. It's a it's a break even, and it allows you to essentially with this and Champa Vadasa, you're playing your 20k double striker for one energy. Um, your second Khalifa target, you play three Troublemaker of Universe Six. This card is nuts. Um, I think this is one of the best cards in the deck. I was playing it at two, and then I bumped it up to three. Um, this actually lets you play through a lot of the counterplays in this format. So stuff like Denial of Hope. Um, uh, even the other ones, usually it's denial is the big one. Um, just playing this and then tapping an energy is big because now you can, like if your opponent is just kept keeping two energy up, they sort of have to use their, their counterplay on this or else they, they, they go down to one energy and then you can evolve a Khalifa and tap down the other energy. And that's super big. And she allows you to, she helps you awaken sometimes. On like turn three you can play her and then uh, usually awaken. Um, so for counterplays, I play three Chomp of the Tricksters. Um, this card's crazy. This is essentially Mutaito, but for two, and you draw a card, and he's a 15k body that stays on board. Um, it's also searchable from your one-drop Khalifa. Uh, so it's it, for ratio's sake, we played it at three because we wanted uh, more 
blue cards. Uh, and then we played four Undying Spirit Sun Gohan. Uh, this is really good in a lot of matchups. Uh, this comes up in a Janemba. This this almost says Janemba can't play a Janemba like battle card for like the first couple of turns without being scared of tapping out. Uh, it's good in the, the Toa matchup because you can bounce back their Vegeta time regulators. Um, and it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a one drop 15k uh, counterplay. Uh, the one of that we play in the, uh, that I play in the deck is one uh, Hidden Power E Supreme Kai. Uh, this is usually you pair it up with a Mira and go for game. Uh, this also is uh, one cooler. This is essentially Bad Ring Laser for the deck. Um, there's a, there's a play you can do on turn four where you can just Mira chop a Bad Ring uh, on turn four, and so if they have two energy, you can just you can just kill them. Uh, the last one of I play one Cold Blood list because that one uh, I find this card every time. You draw a lot in this deck, and seeing this is not that hard. And there's, there's also a surprise factor for your opponent because. They usually don't think you have it, but uh, it's <laughs> still good. Um, extra cards. We only play seven extra cards in the deck, and four Senzu Bean. This card's broken. Always will be broken. Uh, I don't think it needs much explaining. And then two Zeno Button. Um, I think this card's nuts in this format, especially in a blue yellow deck, because uh, it untaps all your blue yellow energy, and. Um, there's no battering laser to like stop this, so you can you can like aggro your opponent really hard, just keep swinging at them, and then on the first attack, just Zeno button, and now all, mostly all your counterplays are live, and that that's really big because you can you can stall your opponent out uh, a lot and just kill them. Uh, the last battle card, the only overall you play in the deck, it's two Mira. Uh, Mira still busted even without battering. Uh, decks that aren't playing blue or can't. Untapped energy, sorry. Um, if you drop a mirror after they're tapped out, you can just swing. Uh, they either take a life negate, uh, a sparking negate it, and they go to like they usually go to one. Just go Broly, respend their one energy, and just swing again, and that's usually the game. Uh, most of my games, I just won with this. You just dump hand on like a double strike Khalifa, and you put them to like one or, uh, one or two life, and then you just mirror them for game. Uh, for sideboard. Uh, we played two trunks power over seeing time. Oh, I forgot for the main board, my bad. Uh, there's one secret rare Vegito. The um, the one that came in uh, this set as well. The, the Kefla Pitara one. Uh, I was just borrowing it from someone, so I just don't have it. Um, so the sideboard, two trunks power over seeing time. This is for Janemba. Um, mostly to add back the SCR because the SCR is such a big win con. Um, it's also good to add back like TNs and stuff. So you can just constantly TN your opponent. But yeah, this is just easy for Janemba. Uh, TN, it's for any blue deck that untaps. Um, like playing a TN and then tapping out your opponent with all your Khalifa cards, and then just setting up a mirror play and swinging twice with it is it, it, usually game against blue decks. Um, two FR Vegetas. Uh, this is for the Kaba, the, the, Kaba you, uh, the, the, the Kaba matchup. This is when they go any of the Aegis guys, so if they go into the Kefla or into the Vegeta Kaba, you just play this for one energy and you, you pop it. Uh, so it's it, it it makes the it makes the matchup super easy because now they can't untap their energy and they can't tap your energy out because they have to wait for the defense step to do that. Um, also for the Janemba matchup and like other matchups, um, I play I side a second Kai if I need it, uh, a third Mira, and then. The fourth Champa. Uh, the fourth Champa is usually for like Shenjita, uh, even Toa, because this gets through the Toa, and, I mean the Mira, and you can tap the Mira. So on their chain, you can stop their big Mira attacks usually all the time with this card. Um, yeah. And then for Negates, I played two Time Magic. Uh, I had Nimbus in here before, but uh, Time Magic just seemed better and felt better because uh, having a Sparking Negate sometimes is important over Nimbus and usually you can combo out of uh, attacks uh, like a ton of attacks especially with Bean and Chompavato so it's fine um, two unexpected turn um, this is good for the for any for any deck that can go wide with like small drops hand sometimes this comes up 
um, Toa this comes up sometimes um, Kaba U6 is also really good uh, but yeah it just it just stops it stops pushes and then last I play one planet Vegeta um, this is also I just wanted a utility card and I had a spot to fill but it can add back it can add like any Saiyan in your deck so it makes it adds for like a fourth and fifth copy of some cards you're playing like two ofs or three ofs so like it's just it's just good one energy because um, like a lot of the time for example in the in the the copy u6 matchup where any matchup that plays like a barrier card that you need to get through you can uh chomp a, chomp it on your turn on their turn tap it down and then on your turn you can like vegeta for one energy planet vegeta search this and then pop it so like for for two energy you got to to pop any barrier card and it's not bad uh, but it, it came up once in a while uh, and that's the deck cool so you went what was your record uh, i went x1 in swiss my only loss being dining in swiss <laughs> and then i lost to dining in top cut um but yeah uh yeah the deck formed really well it's a really good aggro deck and it plays really well in this format um because i don't think there's a really good aggro deck that i've seen so far and this you, you can usually win games on turn 3 to 4 and that's big especially with decks like Frieza Prison and other decks that that ramp like even uh, the Gogeta Beku yeah this stops Gogeta Beku as well Shinjita uh, what? Um, Shinjita you can just pressure them really fast really yeah. quickly and um, yeah like y your counterplays stop their like their, the Shenrons and stuff from coming on board because you can go they usually like free wish a, go uh, a Shenron and then you can just go on bounce it back to their hand and now they, they're like forced to recast it and like when you tap them out you can just kill them yeah so uh shad and anthony both play this deck they both put x1 uh anthony's actually still fighting in the semifinals right now so if you want a different take on the u6 uh veggie stuff definitely give this one a check yeah. uh and yeah it's, hopefully you guys see more uh, deck profiles from us in the future yeah. uh, i just want to give a shout out to jordan beard jordan actually made the uh the deck he first he showed me this deck like a month ago and then we've been play testing and making changes to it for since then but yeah it's, it, it, it works really well uh probably still just a broken leader and mirrors busted card <laughs> cool. until next time all right take care guys